Uh, so first off, welcome everyone. Uh, we're up, as he said, home court advantage for me here. Uh, my name is Mike Steckley. I work here at Ada as an account executive. Um, so my whole story kind of starts, and Dave was a part of it early on as well, about three years when I was working at Hudson's Bay. I was a sales manager basically selling handbags to angry women on very regular occasions. And it kind of got to the point where it wasn't feeling fulfilling and I was kind of feeling stifled in my growth. And so now I've been at Ada for about, uh, I think about 10 months now. I started as a business development rep and have quickly progressed to in about six to eight months to be an account executive. Uh, so since I've been here, I overachieved quota probably for about ever since the time I started, brought in Air Asia, which is our biggest client in the Asia region, as well as the first that we have in the airline industry. And have also been, <laughs> and also when we started, I was about, so similar to Liz, I was employee 18, and we're now up around 60 employees. Um, so the whole process for me, as I like originally, originally alluded to, was being at Hudson's Bay, kind of feeling that my growth wasn't going anywhere, or wasn't proceeding at the pace that I wanted to go through. And kind of reflecting back on that, I kind of found that there was three key things I thought were really helpful for me in doing so. The first was um, identifying what my personal objectives were. So in doing so, I really took like a good hard look at what I liked about my role, what I didn't like about my role, and kind of laid out what I needed the key criteria for me to be when I moved into another role. And Dave was a very integral part of these conversations as well as with his two good friends. I, ran I, I randomly was in the room. He was. He was adjacent to the conversation. Yeah. Um, and so for me, the key three things I needed out of a new role were um, a company or an industry that had high growth potential. It didn't necessarily so much matter about the role, more so about I had the ability to grow into something quickly and it was an exciting, fast-paced environment. Uh, the next thing for me was being in a role that I really felt that I had a tangible output and that what I was putting forward actually helped propel the business forward. And that was something that was really important to me because being in retail, I felt I could get 55,000 women to buy these purses and at the end of the day, I was having no actual impact on the business itself. And something kind of more, or something less related specifically to the role, but I wanted more work-life balance. Working retail is quite gruesome. Uh, you don't have control over your life. I wanted something that was nine to five, Monday to Friday. Working in tech isn't necessarily nine to five, but one of the beautiful things about working specifically at Ada is that you have a lot of control over your schedule and how you feel that you work best. So I can come in at eight, leave at three, uh, maybe go to the gym for two hours, come back and keep working. So it's really what is most conducive to you and how you feel that you're gonna work best. Um, the next thing that I kind of realized when I was looking back was networking. I cannot overemphasize enough the importance of networking. I literally talked with everyone's mother, brother, grandmother, anyone that I could kind of talk to in order to understand what their career progression was, how they got to where they were. It didn't start off necessarily being within tech itself, but it was just based off the attributes that I originally laid out. I just started aligning those with like different industries and people that I felt would be able to help propel me forward in that respect. Um, and so kind of how I ended up at Ada was talking with one of my brother-in-law's good friends who I had never spoken with. He was an advisor here at Ada and just said, hey, go in and talk with them. And I was a little reluctant at first because I had no experience in tech at the time. It had been an industry that I was looking to go into, but it was a bit of a barrier that I thought and that I can barely manage my own iPhone. And that I also had no idea about AI, which was just another hurdle. And kind of similar to what a lot of other people have spoken about so far is that you don't necessarily need those prerequisite technical abilities just need to kind of hustle and have have an open mindset and have the ability to work your ass off in order to move forward and which is how I was able to move up quite quickly within such a short period of time and so you never know you might think that oh this meeting might be useless like I shouldn't go and meet with this person just go and talk with them they might know someone who knows someone that gets you to the point that you need to and even then it helps you further refine your criteria for wanting to go in figure out what you're looking so I think that was probably one of the most valuable things that I learned. And the last one is strictly patience. It took me probably about three years with a few ups and downs in between to finally land here. So it's, I know like it can seem really shitty at times or that like, you're not moving anywhere, but like it, like 
as the old adage goes, the good things come to those who wait. Like you have to keep plugging away and hustling, but it takes time to actually eventually get to the point where it works off. So don't feel too discouraged. It took me three years, which is probably longer than a lot of people, but eventually it pays off. Um, and I think kind of as a plug for pipeline here, this is a great opportunity for you to be in one room with people that have had experiences similar to us that have are looking for open positions. So take advantage of things where you can kind of amalgamate a bunch of different networks into one and they'll get for all it's worth. Because at the end of the day, it's really who you know, a little bit of what you know, that's gonna end up getting you to where you wanna be. And that's really how I ended up here at ADA. That's all for me.